On May 16th, 2003, a baby was born, and that baby was me. I was about a month and a half early and put my parents in the hospital more than they could count. Flash forward a year later and I'm on the cold wood floor of our house scribbling away on a sheet of paper. It's all a bit blurry, but in that time I realized just how much I loved to draw. All throughout my childhood I was obsessed with doodling on everything I could get my hands on. If I didn't have any paper, I'd draw on myself or the walls or the toys. I was fascinated in how the ink bled from the markers and the colored wax of a crayon trailed behind the strokes. I was fascinated in expression and making my ideas come alive. Alright, so a big time skip happens and fifth grade rolls around. I had filled up sketchbooks with illustrations of animals and objects and other things like that because I couldn't draw a human for the life of me. I wanted to learn how to draw actual people, not wolves or cats or the unicorn I drew 500 times over. It was new and exciting, but challenging. I couldn't get a grasp on the concept of the anatomy and the physics of it all. I actually noticed my growing frustration towards all the things I drew, picking apart what I could have done better and thinking that I'd probably never improve because there was always something wrong with it. I spent the entirety of my middle school experience stressing over how much I despised my works. This thing that I've been training myself to do since birth has suddenly become distorted and wrong and I convinced myself that it was all a waste of time and that I should just give up. But from all this negativity grew a sprout of hope for myself. I realized that if I could control the dark thoughts, then I could learn from my mistakes and what I found could be better and try them out in the next piece. I realized that I needed to stop comparing my work to others because creation as a whole is subjective and means something different to each individual person. You can't let yourself believe that what you are creating isn't worth anything. The fact that we can create in the first place is amazing. We can build up dimensions and think up ideas from our emotions and push them into reality. We're creating characters and stories that get people so invested they want to be in that world. Don't stop yourself from creating because it's one of the most powerful abilities we as humans possess. And I'm sorry to say, but making something that fits your exact expectations is impossible. Creating is a collaboration between your mind, hands, and overall will and determination. It's a partnership, a group project every time you make something. Nothing will get accomplished if you're always fighting yourself. Have patience with yourself and group members, and I promise it'll be much, much easier to find satisfaction in your creations.